Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to knock out a green screen. So um, the better your background is, the, that is the more uniform the lighting on the background, the easier it will be. So here we're using um, W Premiere Pro CS6. Um, so what you do is you take your um, video track you come over here and we're going to find um, King. So video effects, King, Ultra Key. Put it across to there. Now, if you wanted to, you could also use a garbage mat. I'll just show you quickly. So let's take 16 point garbage mat, put it on there. So when you've got the garbage mat, as you can see, it actually gives this. So you could actually do so and knock at the background. That's as long as this guy doesn't move his head or put his hand up there or anything like that. But it's useful sometimes to do that. So uh, let's go um, get rid of that. Go to our Ultra Key and click on Mac Generation. You want to have it as big as you can get on the screen. Uh, just take it with the settings that it actually comes with. Take the little uh, dropper tool and you come over here. So I'll put it say in the middle and it looks great. Wow, it's so easy. <laughs> come up here to composite and take alpha channel and you go, whoa. So you've got to get rid of all this noise here. Otherwise it will show up. So we go back to here and you want to look for something a bit darker. So we go there and we go, oh, that's better. There's still some noise around here and a noise there, there. And we're also looking at how white these guys are here. But if we go back over to here, let's just put it down to there. And you can see, no, no, that's not there. Whoops. So if we come up to here, now that's pretty good all around, a bit of noise down there. So now we need to clean that up. So I write my, I write, I keep notes of what I do. So it makes it easier when I'm doing the same setup. So um, this transparency, highlight, shadow, tolerance, pedestal. Now if I change that pedestal, you look down here, I know you can't see much, but if you change the pedestal, more to 30, it actually knocks it out. See, if I put it back to 10, look what happens to the table down here, right? So you don't want to be too enthusiastic because we're already got a bit of um, noise and transparency in there in the table because there's green light shining off the uh, reflection on the table. It spills the real um, challenge. So I need to remove this down here. So if I go up to say 20, background looks pretty good and then you'll find so let's go back to um, composite and if we go say 100 percent because you want to have a look and you can see how we've lost some of the table already in there but just going up to here looking at the guys hair around the outside that looks pretty good and what you'll sometimes get you'll actually get green see there's a bit of green there on the blue shirt blue light it's not too bad um, but if we go to matte cleanup and we go to choke just give it 10 did you see how it sh shrunk it in see if we go say 50 it gets <laughs> smaller and smaller so just give it say 10 and then just to soften the edge. So just 10. Because if you give that, say, 80 and soften it, see what it does? Really softens the outline. And you can see that sometimes on the green screen videos. It's really soft. We go back just to 10. That works all right. It's okay. And just keep in mind what background you'll actually be using. I'll show you the background. Uh, okay, I'll show you the background. Where's the background? Background. 
that's the background that I'm actually using here. All right. So you want to get a background which works for you. So let's get rid of that background because it's in the way. So knock the background out. Get back down to here. Find this guy there. Okay, so what do we do? Choke. They're the two main ones. Choke tan, soften tan, and then spill correction. It's like, ah, spill correction. So if you come down here to the table, so if you look down here, look down here, you'll see this is like, because you've got light shining off the green screen, it reflects back across the table. So you see there's no green reflecting over here or, or in there. But you can see, yeah, in the middle, that's where you shine light on the green fabric. It's going to reflect green back on the shiny surface. So that's why it's sort of useful for me to cover the table with bits of paper and junk and all that sort of stuff. So I don't have to deal with that. Also, I have a background where it doesn't matter so much if the um, table um, becomes a little bit transparent. Um, so let's take our spill suppression. So we desaturate, we've got to desaturate the color here. So if we go to say 45, you see how it makes it go dark? If we take the desaturate, if we just do it to 10, it's sort of quite muddy brown green. If we go to 90, see how it desaturates, but it desaturates the whole image. So desaturate, what the heck was it? 45, 45, it's important to have notes. And then there's a, a range. See, this is what you have to play with with the spill. So we go 50 down to 10, see it goes really green. 90, go back to 50, get it in the middle, all right? So the color looks all right. Um, spill, this is a real funny one. This will change the hair color. So if we have it, say, if we put it down to 10, you notice how it ch changes here, all right? So we might go, okay, let's go up to 90. And look at that. It, look, okay, apart from the fact that it's a bit transparent, the table looks pretty good on 90. But then when you come up here and you look at this guy, you look at his hair, it's got a magenta uh, color to it, magenta who? hue. Because that's the uh, green light shining off the... Um, it's not a um, hair light, it's actually the green light coming off this background. So, this spill, so we take it back to about, say, 40. So there, the hair is, looks good. And then this, the table, we sacrifice the table. And then there's a, we get a bit of a color, What's well, the luma here? So it was 50. So if we knock it down to 10, sure, we get the uh, table back in. But it's really greeny. But if we take the luma back up to say 90, well, it knocks it out. So we play around a little bit. I go for 70 there. If we knock it down to uh, 10, I don't like it. Go back up to 50. I had it set on 70. You've got to look at the uh, hair, skin color, white. Or look at the green around the outside. Uh, look at the guy's hair. That's all right. That's okay. And then if you want to get fancy, you could play around with color correction or whatever. But that actually, what I just showed you there, if I can just go back to fit, that works pretty well. And then when you throw all your other stuff in, so when I put the um, background in, I put the background in, it's works quite fine 
and I put all the other, I can't see what's happening to my eyes, put all my other junk back in there. This uh, is actually quite useful, this text box across here, because it actually like hides part of the table. So that's it. That's it. Good luck. Just make sure that when you actually set up your green screen, you light it the best that you possibly can. Uh, if, you, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe and um, let me know if you want me to make some other videos. All the best to you.